Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time, we left Lakadosa Town for good, which is both a blessing and a curse that I can no longer complain about the name and have it still be on topic, but that just means that now I'm complaining about the name without it being on topic of what we're actually doing. Well, no, I was going over what we were doing last time, and that encompasses it pretty well. But um, in addition to that, we went through Route 13, one of the longest routes ever. It was so big and expansive and Xenoblade-like, it deserved its own trek from beginning to end without any interruptions. I think that's what we call videos. Anyway, this time we are in Undella Town on the other end of Route 13. Let us get started in seeing what Undella Town is all about. First, we're gonna go ahead and heal up our Pokemon because I have actually not done that yet. Generally, it's a good idea too whenever you're off screen, but we don't get to hear the sound very often. Thought it could be a little bit nice, or maybe I just forgot. The world may never know. And you, hello boy. Do you have a villa in Andela? You are rich. As a token of our new acquaintance, please accept this. I like this. When I'm rich, I'm less expected to actually have to pay for anything. Yet another prism scale so that you can evolve a Feebas. Maybe good to let a Pokemon hold it. Wonder how many kids did that even though it was useless for the Pokemon they gave it to. You are a regular shopkeep. And you are not a regular shopkeep. You have luxury ball and dive balls. Since this is a very watery area, it could be kind of good to pick up a few of these if you can't go fishing every single day and be that guy's number two like you. I wish I could be right now, but I got a journey to go on. I really want to encourage that guy more, but I just, I don't always have time, okay? I'm sorry. I hope my intentions are getting to him across the sea that I am away from him. Hey! It's an island paradise up in here. Everything just completely changed. I recommend on your first foray, you make sure that it is the summer months. The sea! <laughs> I like how it vibrates every time I talk to him and he just keeps playing the sound effect. Ah, Cynthia. Why are you so Cynthia? <laughs> I wonder the same thing all the time. Uh, we go down and we end up on Route 14. That's not what I was wanted to do. I no, there's not a hidden item around here. Oh, my senses were tingling, so I thought I would go down there and make myself have to edit the sidebar a tiny bit more. But instead, I wasn't really for any sort of worthwhile cause, so I'm just gonna resent myself later in editing. Undella Town, a town of rippling waves. The sea, it's a source of life. The sea, it's a lot of water. So teach your poke this move to your Pokemon, and you can dive into the sea. The return of HM06 Dive. Something that I think no one thought would come back, but I'm very happy that it does, because going underwater is a very interesting idea. Makes things just feel a lot more rich and alive, though I do wish it were a better move. Darkest parts of the sea are called diving points. If you use dive there, you can dive all the way to the bottom of the sea. Okay, be sure to remember that. Let's go into our first house and see what happens. Crap! What's this? What an uncanny resemblance. It's surprising to meet another trainer who has that in, the, who has intense eyes like that Pokemon trainer. What's your name? Okay, I'll remember that. Blair, nice to meet you. I'm Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer too, like you. I have an insatiable curiosity for researching Pokemon myths. I'm sure you know about Andela Town's Abyssal Ruins, right? No. I'm staying here at my friend's villa so I can investigate them. In order to get to know each other better as Pokemon trainers, I would like our Pokemon to have a match. Would you care to be my opponent? You know, I was going to make some kind, I was gonna try to say no in some sort of humorous way. I'm very underleveled. I'm not expecting to be able to win this fight at all. But I just healed at the Pokemon Center. Let's give it a go! <laughs> Interesting, my Pokemon and their Pokeballs are radiating a happy feeling. Are you are you the reason? What are you? Uh, I'm asking myself that same thing. What am I? <laughs> she opens the fight with Spiritum, level 75, Ghost Dark type, so no weakness, pressure for its ability, with Sucker Punch, Shadow Ball, Will-O-Wisp, and Double Team. 
what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a very long-term goal to be able to win this fight, or at least that's what I was planning on, but maybe I won't have to make it a long-term goal. Maybe I can just kind of execute and do it. Or maybe even better yet, I can execute and do it. This isn't going to one-shot, no, not even close. Okay, uh, since you double-teamed and you're going to full restore if I hit you with one more earthquake, let's do an aerial ace. Get you chipped down a little bit, and then with one more Earthquake, you should actually be gone. Yeah, let's try. Oh, I actually, I didn't mean to do Oh, no! I misclicked. Ouch. Okay, that's that's really bad. That's bad. That's bad. Um, yeah, no doubt in my mind that she's going to heal. I'm going to do Crunch one more time, maybe get the defense drop. Uh, it's bad that I was off to such a rockin' start, actually, and yet having just a bad time now. Okay, need to do the aerial ace at least once to chip you down. I don't know. I don't know about this. Earthquake? Please don't miss. Thank you. If you can get a critical right now and make me feel a lot better about myself, I'd really like that. No, of course not. I'm still taking a lot of damage from this. Let's try one more time. And you avoid the... T oh, gosh, no. Don't. Don't start, please. Okay, fine. I needed to use a full restore anyway within a turn, so it's 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 fine. Uh, that, that really hurts me, though. Just that I felt like I was doing great, and then, and then I, I press A at the wrong time, like I do so often. I got my special defense dropped, so my setting up Moxie doesn't seem like it's really going to work all that well. I only have two Earthquakes left right No Earthquakes left right now. You are doing a phenomenal job getting me to waste my PP on you, and I'm getting sick and tired of it. This is going very poorly. <laughs> Uh, Haywire? I know that you're going to counter Haywire, so probably not the best move. I know what you have on your team, and I know that you would logically send it out against Haywire, but just in case, maybe you wouldn't. Oh my gosh. This is... This is horrible. <laughs> this is going actually worse than I thought it would. At least that worked. Charge beam? No. Charge beam harder? No. Surf? Okay, something went my way. Thank you. On the bright side, at least it's gonna pay off with me getting a level up on Ottawa, catching her up to the rest of the team. And Hex. And Hex was a You know. That might be the only way that I could actually stand a chance in this fight. Oh. Tear Cold is a one-hit KO move, and it can't- no Pokemon is immune to it. Unless they have, of course, sturdy for their ability, but you know what I mean, no type-wise. Yeah, but, well, no, Flash Cannon. I can reteach these moves through TM anytime. We'll do it for this one fight, just as something kind of fun to try to pull off. Electros! Knew that you were coming out next. You have, you're a level 75 electric type, levitate for your ability, so you have no natural weakness. With the moves Crunch, Wild Charge, Dragon Claw, and Flamethrower. With you having so many physical moves, I think Hilbert's honestly our best bet. Good. I make the right call. Now, if you do more than half of my health, I'm going to be... Beyond upset, actually. 
Uh, you took a lot of damage from that, actually. Maybe Hilbert... Maybe I could heal up a few times and just kind of let Hilbert chip you to death? Dragon Claw, that does even less. And I use that term very mildly when I say it does, it does even less. Been a while since we threw our lemonade in the trash, but we'll do that. And there's the wild charge. You didn't use a full restore with spirit tomb, so that makes me think that you don't have any more. If I could actually make you beat yourself right now, that would be amazing. Come on. I'm ex I'm expecting to lose this fight, like I said. Fully expecting to lose it. But if we can make a little bit of headway by just heal spamming a tiny bit, then I'm okay with that. And there's the recoil, and you took yourself out. I never had to do anything. Let me guess. Let me guess. Yep! Yep, there it is! Garchomp is level 77! Dragon Ground type, Sand Veil for its ability, Dragon Rush, Crunch, Earthquake, Stone Edge. The problem is, I would normally say, yes, you're going for Earthquake, but I don't actually know that to be true because I'm low on health, so you might be reading that I will switch in this situation and going for something else. So you know what I'm doing? Ah, I was hoping that you'd miss. It's a good thing I didn't switch out to Rock, though, like I was initially thinking I would. Hilbert, you did an awesome job. Thank you. Now, Hex can't take a hit from you. And I'm pretty sure Hex isn't going to outspeed you. But Rock might. I don't think there's any other time in this fight that I would want to use Rock over right now. I'm kind of feeling the acrobatics nuke more than anything else. Uh, what I'm thinking is, sending out Rock, sending out Hex, seeing what they can do, and then Aqua Jetting with Samurai if I just barely can't win. You're probably gonna do Stone Edge again. Yeah. So there was no outspeeding you. I think that's a critical hit. <laughs> Gotta add that insult to injury. <laughs> Come on, uh, bet in the farm, bet in the farm. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, you're you're higher level than me, so no, never mind. I think that strategy was flawed. I I think it's speed in Gen One, level in other ones. I get it mixed up because I don't use one hit KO moves that often, so sorry if I was wrong there. But it's not like it even mattered anyway. Aqua Jet, Come on, I believe you can do it. Come on, I know you can. No, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not it. But if I heal, you're just gonna do the damage again and I'm just gonna be crit stalling at this point. So I might as well Aqua Jet and just take the loss. You don't lose half your money for losing in this game, thankfully. That's, if you did, I would not be attempting this fight. But yeah, that gives you a taste of what you're gonna be dealing with with Cynthia. Thought I would demonstrate that really quick just to show that we have a long way to go in terms of training. I'm content with that. The Electros loss was pretty funny. Um, I don't think that my mistake with Terabyte really meant anything in the long run. I think it would have fallen just as everything else did to that Garchomp. I was thinking it was a matter of time until Garchomp came out anyway. Cynthia can be battled once daily. If we go back in and talk to her, I don't think she will let us try again. Oh, have you no, 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 no. <laughs> You prefer to take things slowly and rationally, am I right? Um, I don't prefer to take things slowly, but I do prefer to take things rationally, and that's why I said no. <laughs> yeah, you can fight her once a day if you win. We can't really do that yet. The sunlight is strong. Depending on the Pokemon, that either that can be either an advantage or a disadvantage. Sunlight, strong sunlight makes fire type po fire type moves stronger, water type moves weaker. Also makes it so you can use Solar Beam in one turn. I think I've been over all the effects of sunlight already. They're all just too slow for me. Hoenn is a nice place. Har, for example. Do you know a trainer named Steven? Although he's really strong, I hear he collects only stones. I don't really hate Owen or anything like that. I just know a lot of people do, so it's very funny to hear somebody open a sentence with that. Uh, you, 
Even maids have uh, sometimes have to roost. Oh, I was confused. A Pokemon restores its HP when it uses the move roost. People, it's called resting. And in the house that you are roosting, the best luxury is to enjoy just doing nothing. This is a good pleasure in life. Phew. I've been relaxing on Adela Town too long, I've gotten a little chubby. If Chinchino is by my side, I can get some exercise by training it, and that'll help me lose weight. Would you like to trade my Munchlax with Chinchino? This is the only time that you can ever obtain a Munchlax in this game. So, going over this, as we, uh, actually I do need to go get a Chinchino for this. Chinchino is a 5% encounter rate in Rustling Grass, pretty much any place that you can catch a Minchino, but I think you're honestly better off just catching a Minchino and using a Shiny Stone on it. You should have at least a few by now, maybe even a lot if you're very lucky when it comes to uh, the dust clouds that you find in caves. This is just where I'm going to catch my Minchino. Not the same place as last time, thought I'd vary it up a tiny bit. Oh, why not? I'm not ever going to have this move again. Yes! For those of you that hate Trubbish, I think this entire game is terrible because Trubbish is in it, and we're mad at me for using a Trubbish, there's your revenge. The man has exquisite tastes. He's a very wealthy person who's been in the resort town of Undella for a long time. I think he'll appreciate it being hand-delivered to him in an Ultra Ball. That's what he gets. Got three shiny stones, and this feels awfully familiar that we have to get a Minchino for an in-game trade. But I suggest you do this one. I have to know what you're holding, though. Chesto berry. Hey, berries are rare, because you can no longer connect to the internet to grow them, because don't you know that's how gardening works? I recommend that everyone do this in-game trade, for if you do, Munchlax is always holding the leftovers through this in-game trade. And actually, I think maybe in the wild too, at least, well, never mind. Uh, through this in-game trade, you always have the leftovers. And Chinchino is not hard to get as I've demonstrated. If you want to use it, this level 60 baby Pokemon toward the end of your journey is your only shot at getting a Snorlax. I suggest taking it on a bike ride through Sky Arrow Bridge right away to get it happy enough to evolve. Its stats aren't bad for a baby, but at five speed, it is the slowest Pokemon in the known universe tied with Shuckle. Everyone knows Snorlax. Legendary stats in everything but speed. Great bulk, great damage, learns tons of great moves. We have a wide arsenal of TMs that we can unleash upon the world through its fists too. It's an in-game trade that makes a great Pokemon even better. This Munchlax always has a neutral nature and will always have a perfect IV and HP and 20 and everything else. Great Pokemon. The reason I recommended it be summertime when you do this is that you can only do this in-game trade for the Munchlax in summer. This guy will not be on vacation for you to meet him unless it is so. Please take care of Munchlax. It spent a summer with me. I will work hard to raise your Chinchino and get some exercise. Who thanks? I was just saying the same thing. Who thanks? I was just saying the same thing. Fun in summer, beautiful girls playing in the water. Hey, I'm just thinking out loud. Please don't listen to me. You people are horrible. That leaves but one more place in town, and it is the ritziest of them all. This big villa belongs to the riches. I didn't know money could have its own place. A big nugget just sitting casually in the backyard. I think that sells for 50,000, possibly more, if you can sell it to a maniac. You have an extremely bored look on your face. Okay, I'll let you have a very exciting Pokemon battle with me. Let's see the best Pokemon that money can buy. I'm willing to bet your parents can just access some kind of underground place to buy our kids. A Bweasel! Hey, that's actually pretty cool. I'm not, I like Bweasel. No, I, I'm, I'm gonna give you a pass on that. You, you come from a kin of good taste. Well, you're physical based. I don't really have a good way of countering you with Ottawa. I think we're just gonna send out Hilbert, let him get hurt from the Rocky Helmet, soften him up a little bit, and just chip him away like that. Let's try that. Aqua Tail, perfect. It's like when his tails rotate, they come together to form one big super tail, and that's what he's attacking with. Toxic. 
I'm so glad I taught you Toxic. I thought Clear Smog was gonna be helpful, and it, it is a great move, but I haven't been missing that since it's been gone. Toxic has enabled me to get to uh, get KOs a turn earlier than I would have otherwise plenty of times. And with you being pretty fast, I, I very much welcome that. Aqua Tail again. And you get hit with the Rocky Helmet, again. Have you learned nothing from our last encounter? That strategy will not work, and various other anime cliches. But you are just so relaxed. How could you win against a busy buddy like me? I think is what he was going to say. I'm not sure. I like you. I will let you see a very special thing, so follow me. This isn't gonna get me arrested, is it? Isn't it great? Isn't it spacious? This is my dad's villa, and I can use it freely. But when I came here, surprisingly, there was nothing to do, so now I'm bored. As you may know, my dad is totally obsessed with items in the ruins. Hey, you're bored, aren't you? Come here tomorrow. Come here tomorrow, too. I don't mind having a battle with you. Okay, well, let's talk to everyone. As you can see, I'm an ultra-rich billionaire. Is ultra-rich of one word? I won't question you, you probably have enough money to make the president sign it into law or something like that. As you can see, my hobby is to collect rare items. In fact, this outfit is ultra expensive and rare. Can you see it? Can you? There's something that this billionaire wants to get his hands on, even if it means spending a lot of money. Do you have such a rare item? Do you? You don't have a rare item, do you? Talk a lot like me. I, I like kind of just shifting emotions on the fly and catching people off guard and just kind of being off the wall with the things that I talk about. Anyway, we're gonna be back here tomorrow! Or no, I'm gonna talk to this little girl. Yay, yay, I'm Dollatown! Uh-oh, he caught me doing some very deep doo-doo. He will not battle us again if we cheat the clock. This is the first in-game event that I've run into at all where it would not let me do that. The way that it detects this is it sees if you have changed your clock setting since you last were in the game, and if the answer to that question is yes, then real-time events are locked for 24 hours. That means that we can't do all of this today, we're gonna have to wait and do the remaining things that we can do in the villa another day. This goes on for, I think, five consecutive days, so it's gonna keep us busy for a little while. But, uh, with the moon reflecting off of the waves, I think we're gonna call it here. Next time on Pokemon Black and White, our vacation, if you want to even call it that with how much we got our ass kicked, is over. We're going to be exploring those ruins that everyone is talking so much about. See you guys then. And if you think I forgot to talk about the new Pokemon in Undella Town, I didn't. I just thought we could have kind of a relaxing day, you know? We'll go over them when we're exploring another route.